good morning it's uh i don't know what it is third or fourth of september maybe 2024 just up on a uh, ventnor downs for whatever quick walk along here so uh, come along with me if you want to as ventnor downs on the south coast of the isle of wight it's uh it's breezy and not exactly warm i think there's probably a north westerly feels like a north westerly and uh I don't think we're due to get any rain, but it is quite overcast, as you can see. wonder if there'll be any uh, migrant birds around this morning. Certainly a good time of year for something. Um, as it gets chillier, as these kind of more exposed areas become chillier, uh, the migrants that up until now have been kind of gathering up on these summits, they'll be more inclined to gather down in the undercliff. So uh, during August, which is really a peak time for land bird, migrant birds, so during August it's lovely and warm up here, generally speaking, and Lots and lots of invertebrates, lots of bugs flying around still. Uh, so all those migrant birds, which are well on the move by August, moving south to escape the winter, they'll gather up here where there's lots of food available. But as you go into September, where we are now, and uh, mid to late September, October time, it gets a bit chilly up here and a bit windswept and less food. So birds tend to gather lower down in the undercliff which is more sheltered and less exposed. So uh, now you'll still get plenty of migrants up here. Chiff chaffs and willow warblers and no, fewer willow warblers now. They've already gone through really but uh, there's a few stragglers but chiff chaffs especially. Black caps and white throats and that sort of thing. They'll be up here. Come uh, Come middle of the month, middle of September, the chiffies will have started to join the tit flocks, long tail tits and blue tits and great tits, that kind of stuff, down in the undercliff. So they'll be moving around in little roving gangs of birds. But uh, yeah, it's pretty quiet down there at the moment, migrant bird wise. Also, the things that really start to kick off soon, any time now really, are the visible migrations, the day, daytime migrants. That just flying overhead so the swallows will really start to move loads of those have already left there's still plenty around in the country and they'll be gradually moving south as it gets cooler as the temperature drops and the invertebrate abundance drops off as well those things will start to move south in earnest the ones that are left in the country so uh, again come mid-september we can get some really good bigger movements of visible migration and then the pipits and the larks start, or the buntings and uh, finches, that's what I'm thinking of, finches, ignore the others. <laughs> pipits as well, meadow pipits, tree pipits have really gone through, there's still a few going through. Uh, meadow pipits begin to become more obvious, and then, uh, and then the siskins, red poles, chaffinches, goldfinches especially, they all start to move migrate through and i really do love the second half of september into october when all that visible migration of finches really really can be spectacular on some days so i always walk along here because of this little path along here always looks really good for rhinec i've had a couple over the years along here only a couple uh, i've had one hoopoo along here as well not in autumn, I think that was a April May bird if I remember rightly. But uh yeah. Here's Coon Bottom with a Ventnor below. So there's an osprey up here yesterday. Obviously I had one down down in Ventnor Bay yesterday, an osprey, and uh presumably the one that was seen up here was the same bird. May not have been. It's prime time for ospreys to be migrating as well so that was nice there's a marsh harrier as well which mark telfer saw and got me onto which was good 
It's a good time for a bird of prey to go over. This fence line always looks good for a migrant red bat strike as well. There's a few of those going through at the moment, so keep eyes open for a hunting red bat shrike. Of course, I never see any of these things. Dream on. Chiff chaff calling. It's quieter than I thought it would be. I thought there'd be a few more migrants around this morning. Right, uh, I'm only going to do a quick loop this morning. It's quite chilly. I want to get down into the bay, really. So I'm going to head up here, back onto the summit, where it's a bit exposed, a bit windy. And head back for the car, and then head back for a decaf coffee. I wonder if there's any yellow wagtails with the cows, with the cattle. Probably not, but you never know. Anyway, I think I'll cut you off here. Nice short video. Uh, thank you for watching. Do subscribe if you've not already done so. Press a like button. Press a little notification button so you're told by YouTube when I post a new video. And if you want to support this channel, you can do so by doing a thanks, which is a small uh, contribution, financial contribution to each individual video, or go down to the description in the video to see the old... Uh, buy me a coffee donate page uh, and my little paypal link but um God, it's actually quite chilly my hands are feeling quite chilly now anyway i'll let you all go and i will upload another video soon have a lovely day